Welcome back scientists, Cynthia here. Welcome to chapter two, lesson four. Our main goal today will be to make sure we can find some of the strongest evidence possible so we can really have a good argument to make to the Wildlife Protection Organization. Here's our chapter two question again, just as a reminder. Which island's weather will continue to be the best for the orangutans? Remember, as meteorologists, we are comparing the weather on these three islands, Arc Island, Blue Island, and Creek Island, so that we can see whether the islands match where the orangutans already live, so that we can find the best location to build a reserve. The weather on Blue Island, as you guys researched in chapter one, was the most like the weather where the orangutans live. The evidence shows that you guys looked at in chapter one, that the orangutans live in some of the hottest, rainiest places on Earth. When you looked at the evidence with scientist Kate, you found that Blue Island's temperature on the day you looked at was 95 degrees Fahrenheit, and Creek Island was 86 degrees Fahrenheit. That means Blue Island was hotter than Creek Island. The evidence that you looked at also showed that Blue Island had 38 millimeters of precipitation, and Creek Island had 20 millimeters of precipitation for the day that you looked at with scientist Kate. So that means Blue Island had more rain than Creek Island. In our next lesson coming up, we will choose one island for the reserve and write a convincing argument for the Wildlife Protection Organization. But in this lesson, we'll focus on reviewing and evaluating new evidence from each island and eliminating the weak evidence so that our argument only uses the strongest evidence. Right now, let's take a minute to think about each of these questions as I read them. Think back to chapter one and earlier in chapter two and try to remember what kind of evidence was weak when you were comparing weather in different places. Do you remember that weak evidence usually had a description like hot or a lot of rain? Maybe it was measured in a way that people didn't necessarily understand, like filling two bowls, because two bowls could come in very different sizes. So what made evidence strong for comparing weather in different places? Strong evidence is measured in degrees Fahrenheit and millimeters. Remember, we can understand and compare those measurements and scientists around the world can too. So, to compare the weather in one place to the weather in another place, we need data that is measured in the same way. Meteorologists measure temperature in degrees Fahrenheit and precipitation in millimeters. This allows them to compare data from all over the world. This is strong evidence for comparing weather. In the last chapter, we used one day of data to make an argument. But when we got data for another day, we saw that the weather had changed. What did we learn about organizing many days of data? Remember the data table and the line plot? Why was one easier to use? Remember the boy taking temperatures in the book we read? And he, when he used a line plot, it was so clear that we could easily find a pattern for a range of data. So that means that the line plot was a better way to look at data. Why do you think using many ways of data is better than using only one set of data? Same thing. That is what helps us really look for patterns and the last part of our investigation and our last lesson, really be able to make predictions about what we think will happen in the future. Let's think back and remind ourselves of what, a little bit of what you guys did in chapter one with Scientist Kate. Do you remember this question? In which city would you need a heavy coat? Newburgh or Oldburg? Which color evidence do you think is stronger, the purple or the green? I'll read each sentence and I want you to be thinking about which one is stronger. Try to remember why you think that. Someone measured the temperature in Newburgh and it was 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Someone measured the temperature in Oldburg and it was 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Someone measured the temperature in the Newburgh every day for one month. The range was 40 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Someone measured the temperature in Oldburg every day for one month. The range was 32 to 52 degrees Fahrenheit. 
So, if we really think like scientists, the green evidence is stronger. It has more data of a whole month compared to one day. If you're not sure about this or don't see why the purple evidence is weaker, one reminder I always like to ask myself when looking for strong evidence is, if I had to make a prediction for the next few days, which evidence could help me make that prediction? In this case, the green evidence gives a range of temperatures for a month. So I can make a better prediction if I know the range because that way I can use a pattern to help me. We will be looking at some new evidence shortly. We'll begin looking for strong evidence so that we can compare the weather in different places, but we'll also be looking for strong evidence for predicting what the weather will continue to be like. This will help us find the strongest evidence for a convincing argument to the Wildlife Protection Organization about where they should build the orangutan reserve. So we're gonna pause for a moment and think about this key concept. Scientists evaluate evidence just like we're doing. The stronger evidence makes an argument more convincing. Now on to evaluating evidence. We will be looking at a few cards with evidence about the island, plus our strong and weak cards, so that way we can sort our data. The set includes some evidence you've already seen. Today is not specifically about choosing the island. Instead, it's about locating strong evidence that we can use in our next lesson to make our convincing argument to the WPO. First, I will read the card that you'll see in a minute, and then you can write down or say if you think that card is strong or weak. If you choose to write, you can just write the number of each card. If you choose to say it out loud, go for it. And remember, you can pause the video whenever you want. 